In today's session of Divorce Court, when Jim Flaherty first met his wife, Tony, he says their love was hot. But six years later, Jim says their marriage bed is cold. I don't want her to read the paper while, I'm, while we're having sex. She reads the paper while you're no, having sex? That's... Come on, Mrs. Flaherty. You know, I want to have some sex before I'm too old where I can't have it. He, he acts like I got, like, you know, all day long just to lay up in bed with him. But Tony says that Jim's attitude is a turnoff. I want to be talked to with respect. When you get called names and you get called bitch. I, I want to hear that one real clear. It's Jim Flaherty versus Tony Flaherty in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise, court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Jim Flaherty versus Tony Flaherty. I understand that after six and a half years of marriage and being blessed with two children, you want to call it an end. Mr. Flaherty? Yes, Your Honor. Why? It's, it's over sex. Um, I want over it. Over sex? She, I want it and she don't. You want it and she doesn't? Yeah, she... And when I do get it, it's like she just... It's like she's somewhere else, reading a newspaper, asking me if I'm done yet. You know? It just blows me. It makes me feel like she's got a boyfriend or something. And this has been going on for like four years. For and four I, years you've been yeah. l denied sex? That's well, not true. When, um, after we had our first baby, um, you know, of course, after... Well, he says he wants it and you don't. What do you say? Well, that's not true. When, um, you know, after you have a baby, of course, you can't have sex for a long time. You can't have, you can't have sex after you have a baby? For six weeks. Oh, for six weeks. Right. Well, he says it's been four years. You, no, it's no. been six oh, weeks. Oh, okay, we have another baby. We have a three-month-old baby, so it's been four years since he's had sex. Well, um, I wonder why do you even have a baby if you don't want to have sex with me? Well, so you can get child like I said, it's not true. Years? You know, when, when you get called names and you get called bitch and the C word and everything well, else, sex, it's very hard to, to, um, to warm up to you. somebody. So wait a minute. You're telling me that while you're trying to have sex with him, the man that wants it and you don't, he calls you B and C and probably D and A too, huh? <laughs> no, 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 Your Honor. Uh, he has a no, whole dictionary Honor. full of them. It's a like dictionary this. It's like words. this. I ask her for sex and it ends up to be a fight. So, you know, I'm, I'm afraid to even ask her for we'll, it. We'll go in and we'll lay down in bed and I'll be sitting there and he'll come in and he'll lay clear on the other side of the bed on his stomach and it's like, you she, know, to she me, never approaches that me. Is, I always, I always you know, leave me know. alone. I don't want to be bothered. So I'll roll over and go to sleep and then he'll go, oh, not again tonight. And he'll start having a fit. So you, you think it's leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. And you're saying, thank you. And he's right. saying, I want you to ask me. And you're saying, well, no, I don't want you to ask me. I don't me. want her to read the paper while, I'm, while we're having sex. She reads the paper while no, you're having I sex? Don't. That's, that is Come stupid. On, well, she's totally no, not even interested. No. You know, she must no. have somebody on the side I mean, because I've she ain't getting it I've heard a lot of me. things, but reading the paper no. while. Is that some new way to do it or something? You, no, I believe that's a little are, exaggeration are, on well, his part. Well, are you done yet? You know, oh, you hurt me. You know, you oh, just. Right. What else? That's bull. She's, uh, she's cool. rushing, saying, are we done yet? It's, That's uh, this cool. is, you know, I've, I've asked, let's go to counseling. Let's do something, you know. Okay. You know, over four years, you know. I want to have some sex before I'm too old where I can't have it. <laughs> it and, and she says, she says, well, you should love and, you know, we got to sit and talk and love and, and hold each other. Well, that, there'll be time for that. Well, wait well, a minute. Now, she, she has some, some point that she says, you have to love me. Let's sit and talk. I love her. Let's I, do a little romancing before. Is that what she asked? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. But she's talking like love, and, you know. You know she's talking like love, no, no, and there's no, something wrong with that, huh? No, she's talking, you know, just hold me and stuff and just talk. Well, we, we can do that when we're 60, you know? Well, because oh, wait when we're 60. Wait. Get him. I, I want to hear that one real clear. Well, I, love I, me. I, I can't oh, understand stop, her. Stop, stop. I just want to get a clear understanding. Stop. Hold me. Love me. Cuddle me. Yeah, yeah. You have to wait till you're 60 to do that. No, no, no. I, I ain't saying that. But, you know, I, I do that to her, too. But there, there's going to be time when I can't have sex and she can't have sex. And there'll be time for, like, you know, holding and talking. I just so want, I want more than once every other month. So let me understand you. She wants holding, cuddling, fine. I've, touching that's before fine. I've tried that. you have I've tried that. intercourse. I've tried that. And you want to go... Bang! Let's no, get. No, no, I didn't like that. It didn't like and that. I don't want to be it's called just, I'm, names. I'm, I'm afraid to even ask her for it. I really am because I know it's going to end up being a fight, and I'm going to be downstairs on the couch. It's just, it's, it's, 
I've been doing what do you this for say? Four years. What's your understanding of that? He's saying you want this soft holding and cuddling That's and fine. I, do, and I wanted before. to be I wanted to be want to be talked to with respect and I don't want him to call me names. Um, I don't I don't just come home and go, okay, get in bed blah, 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 and start yelling. I don't do that. <laughs> I know I never get it that way. I haven't yeah. got it in four years when I wanted it, but she gets it when she wants it. Well, you said she never wanted one time I such a liar. blew her off, like she blew, blew me off, and it was like, oh, oh, I didn't get it for months all the time after that. Too. If he, okay, like, like say um, yesterday he wanted to have sex, okay, uh -huh. and I didn't want to. So and I went the next the morning room. I wake up, you know, and I want to have sex. It's like, and he storms off, he's gone. You know, he so just. So both of you play tit for tat. Oh, when did you do this? Yesterday? Was that hypothetical? Or are you yeah, telling that, me that's what happened yesterday? Yeah, just for example. Oh, yeah, I hope oh. so, because... So when you want it, he doesn't want it. Right. And when you want it, sex, Mr. I Flaherty, she doesn't want it. So if she it. wants it, I'm, I'm ready. And, and, you know, another thing, too, you know... Wait a minute, he says he, he gets always his wants and it. I don't. What? What do you mean he gets his and you don't? What? He reaches out to him and you don't? A lot, yes, because a lot of times we'll, like, you know, we have a jacu pool and jacuzzi, you know? Yeah, I, and no, 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 I didn't hear that. We have a pool and jacuzzi. And, um, you have you a know. pool and jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And we'll go in there in, you know, five seconds, and Jim's done, and Tony's just sitting there going, mm, nice. Have you tried counseling to figure I out told, when I you can get that, together? I told and she thinks it's all my problem, that she don't need to go. Well, it takes two to go to counseling. It takes two to tangle. And in this relationship, it's only it, one. You know, Let me ask you both something. Do you believe that sex is a part of marriage? Yeah. Yes, I do. You think it's necessary? Uh, I don't think it's necessary, but I think it is a big part There's of your marriage. There's your answer right there. She doesn't think it's necessary. Uh, well, I think it's a big part of your marriage. Then loving and cuddling ain't I mean, necessary. You know, what if something <laughs> happened and one of us could never have sex? You know, it's, that shouldn't matter. We should still love each other and be married, you know? I told her, you know, get a light. Turn it on when you want it, and that way I'll know. <laughs> Jeez. I just, you know, I just don't think that, I don't think it's ever going to work because no matter what I do, I'm just never going to make Jim happy. Your Honor, when so we have you done anything to make him happy in this marriage? Your Honor, when we first met, she I thought a, we, I thought so, but... She was totally different when we first met. She was a hound dog. I couldn't keep her off me. And then after two years, bam! Oh, You're not supposed so to marry well, you know, yeah. between the two of bam. us, we have five children. Well, the and kids, they all the kids. live with us. Now, if you have five children and they all live with you, you're about to tell me something. Hey, they go what to sleep. It? We can wait until they go to sleep. We don't need the kids there. I, I don't know he, why you bring up like the kids. He acts like I got, like, you know, all day long just to lay up in bed with him. So you're tired? Yeah. So he and doesn't help you with the kids? Once in a while, yeah. <laughs> but you don't help her with the kids? I do all the, I do all the hard work with the kids. I do the, the buckling down with the kids. They do you get... work outside of the home? Yeah. And do you work outside of the home, Mrs. No, Smart? I'm, at, she, I'm home right now. I'm... But she does. So you're saying he does, you're tired when he gets home because you've handled five kids all day. Well, yeah, and then with the new baby, you know, um, I get up at the, with the baby like 5 o'clock in the morning, you know, and I don't get a break all day. I don't get to lay down and take a nap, you know, because it's just impossible with all the kids. When divorce court returns, Tony testifies about the day Jim walked out on her. He took off and he left me with five kids. He left me with all the bills in the house. Later, the judge lays down the law. I'm not your girlfriend arguing with you. Are you getting divorced? Do you need Judge Mabley and Ephraim's help settling a dispute? If you want to be a guest on Divorce Court, call 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Jim Flaherty versus Tony Flaherty. Jim wants a divorce because he says Tony won't have sex with him. So what are you fighting over now, then? All I want is a dog, Your Honor. We have two dogs by, in our marriage. So all you want is a dog? <laughs> well, I want my kids, but, you know, they're better off at the house for now, you know. All I wanted was a, one of our dogs. We have three dogs, but two of them are mastiffs. I want one of them. She don't want to give me nothing. Wait a minute, you have three dogs? Yeah, yeah. we have two that we Hold bought. Hold on. Let me understand. You have three dogs? Yeah, Rottweiler two, and two mastiffs. Two mastiffs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, which one do you want? I want one of the mastiffs. I want Roxanne, the female. She, she just had puppies, right? Nine of them. She already sold two. It hasn't gave me nothing. They're $1,000 each, the Three. puppies. Sold one last How night. How many have you sold? Three. Sold one last night. You sold three of the puppies? You see how proud she is? She, she just how wants you, to... How did you come about to sell the puppies? I mean, you, you're breeding you these okay. dogs? Yeah, we we bought them. the dogs to kind of make a little money on the side. They're $1,000 dogs. They're very expensive. Did okay. you agree on that? Yep. Yeah. Did you but... agree on when to buy them? Yeah. yeah. Did you agree on when to breed them? Yeah. Yeah. So you can agree on when to breed the dogs, but you can't yeah. agree on she when to have sex hers. together. We're married, and it's supposed to. Be... <laughs> um, no, they do it by themselves. Yeah. They, they love each other. Okay, what oh, happened so was they don't need any help. Any no, they don't need no help. From the two of you. They yeah. don't have to beg. Um, 
the one female dog we bought first, Roxanne. And um, I have a I have a really big Barbie collection. Barbie, okay, right? she sold right. eight hundred dollars worth of Barbies. Now you want you want nine thousand dollars worth of dogs for them? And um, anyway, keep the puppies. Um, Just give me the Roxanne. No, let her tell me about the okay. dogs. She, she so, wants to tell me something that I need to know. Yeah. I know. Okay, so I I sold a bunch of my Barbies, over eight hundred dollars worth for eight hundred dollars, and um, that was the down payment on her. She was twelve hundred dollars on okay. Roxanne. On Roxanne. Okay. And then the 400, you know, we just made payments to the lady. Okay, well then we got Max, and so they've been breeding. Have you agreed puppies. on Max? Yes, we agreed. And that's to buy the Max. male dog, right? And your honor, I and do all the And you breeded Max pickup. and Roxanne together, right? And, and they and produced the nine puppies, right? We had now, a litter. Rock Wilder come in. Uh, We've had I've her. had her forever. I've had her for like six years. She's the guard dog. She's my baby. And, and your um, honor, I picked up all the. But poop. aren't you tired of babies? You just told me you have five <laughs> children. I know. Um, I like my dogs. But you um, still want? You still have time to deal with the dogs. Yeah. And she wants all of them. She won't give me nothing. Okay. Nothing. But now listen. Okay. Wait a second here. Okay. She acts like them dogs he just left. love her, he not left. me. Or I don't like the dogs. I just want to, I want Roxanne just so I can breed her and make me. all kinds of money. He left. Well, he okay. Told, yes. He left. He took off and he left. I didn't he get left sex. me with five kids. Scott. He left. Go on. From he there. left me with five kids. He left me with all the bills in the house to pay. I have to make the house payment, homeowner's insurance, property taxes, and everything else that he doesn't pay me. He doesn't pay me any child support or anything right now. The dogs, they just had a litter of puppies. He doesn't pay you any child support? Your no. Honor, your Honor, the no. house is mine. I left her the house. It's a nice house. Got a pool and jacuzzi. Is it paid for? Yeah. No. No, but no. It's, we got money in it. So she's paying anyway, a note every month. Okay, yeah, but anyway, so when the dog, when the dog had puppies... Did you just cut me off? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Paying child support and paying a house note are, in, are not the same. Well, she hasn't said nothing about child support. But I just wanted to explain something I know, to I know. you. I'm there for my kids, you know. Did you cut, cut me off? I'm sorry. The fact that you bought the house and she lives in it and you left it to her, that is not child support. The note has to be paid. I didn't say it was child All support. All right. Just wanted to make that clear yeah. to you. I just left the house because I'm, you know, I'm fed up, Your Honor. I just, I thought she loved I, me. That no. point is real clear to me. I just you're, want a you're dog. Fed up. I can't believe it. I just want a dog. <laughs> Those two dogs love each other. Roxanne and Max love each other to death. And they don't want to give up none of the A lot house. more than you and Jim, right? Yes. Yeah. Actually, yes, she does. Um, the two of them, um, if you, if like, if Roxanne's in the house for an extended period of time, he'll be outside hooting and hollering, howling and crying and he'll go ram his head Who's into the he? fence. Max. Oh. Okay. Because he wants in with her. He's he's, he's very, like me. Why is it very why is it Max inside with Roxanne? Because when she first had her puppies and stuff, we keep him kind of away from her. Oh, you said Max is like you hooping yeah. howling to get yeah, he, some. He wants his woman. <laughs> <laughs> so are you punishing Max like you did him? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so you know to to separate him, I don't I, I think that would be wrong. All right. How much money did you make off the last three dogs you sold? Um well, I have two sales receipts here because um, I sold one of the puppies for 800, and the guy still owes me 200 when he picks up the AKC papers. And then um, the uh, the the last one I, I just sold one last night for 250 cash, a um, uh, guitar that his son, my stepson, he wanted a guitar. He's been wanting one for a long time. So I did this deal with these people. Um, I got the 250 bucks. I got the guitar, and they owe me 150 dollars worth of tattoos or tongue piercings. They own a tattoo shop. So if you if you get it, if you're selling the puppies for tattoos, if you're selling the puppies for a guitar, you're not selling the puppies for support. Well, yeah. a tattoos on whose body? Eight. Yours? Huh? Tattoos on whose body? Yours? Who's there, whoever wants them. Um, I. Um, so you're, I you're, have a friend that was going to pay me. He was going to. So have you're a, selling the puppies in exchange for other favors, not just for child support. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. I've heard enough. When divorce court returns, the judge hands down a tough verdict. That just got me the wrong way. I don't like that kind of attitude. And an update on the case of Teresa Nixon versus Dante Nixon. While I'm going getting poked and prodded and looked at by every Joe Blow and wannabe doctor in the world, he's out there dipping himself into somebody else. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back and the verdict is in as Jim and Tony Flaherty end their six-year marriage. 
This is a matter of flarity. It's interesting to me that two people can be married to each other and supposedly so in love with each other and can't decide how and when to get together to do the things that normal people do as married persons, mm -hmm. but you are so interested in getting together to breed the dogs. I assume the dogs mean more to you than each other, which is not a bad thing if you love dogs, but you could have balanced it a little bit, I think. In any event, <clears throat> to separate the dogs, neither one of you convinced me that the dogs wouldn't live if they were separated. Nor did either of you convince me that you really were so in love with these dogs that you would just die if you didn't have them. All you showed me was that, especially you, Mrs. Flaherty, you were quite selfish and you just wanted everything. Mr. Flaherty at least was willing to settle for two puppies. And you know, I was about to just order him to have two puppies, but you said, no, nah, I don't even want him to have that. That just got me the wrong way. I don't like that kind of attitude when people are that selfish and unwilling to share. So then I have to be fair. And the fair thing in my opinion is, and I'm going to warn you before I say it, because Joe is standing by and he hasn't had much to do today. I'm awarding the dogs, Roxanne and Max, to Jim Flaherty. I'm awarding the puppies to the wife. In my opinion, I don't think it's good to separate the two dogs since they were bought for the purposes of breeding. You tried to convince me that you were breeding them for child support, so you said out of one breath, but the other breath, you weren't breeding them for that reason. If you had just given him the puppies, we wouldn't have had to be here. I don't think he deserves them, but. That's just why you got them. Because of your attitude. That's one of the main reasons. Okay. So, you don't think he deserves them? I've Good ordered job. him. To, are they at your house? Yep. So, with that attitude, you're ordered to turn over Roxanne and Max to Mr. Flaherty within 24 hours, whether you think he deserves them or not. The, well, the female still nurses the puppy, so I don't know what you can do about that, but. He'll take the puppies that she's nursing to his house until she finishes nursing. Well, how am I supposed to sell them then? He can sell them. Well, I have the ads in the newspaper. And the same ad can't go to him? Yeah. You sell well, is he going to pay for it? No. The ad is in the newspaper, Mrs. Yeah, Flaherty. with my phone number. All right, so when you get a call that says the puppies are for sale, you tell Mr. Flaherty that there's a call and I a just, potential buyer. I said I don't have any more. You see what I mean? You're not selling the dogs for the children. You're still talking selfish. You're just mad and you want them all to hurt him. No, I want them because I'm the one that takes care of the kids. Because I'm the one that gets up in the middle of the night and takes care of the kids. My well, daughter, I'm leaving you my some of that responsibility the, since you're doing so much. I was up with her, not him. You argue with me again. I'm not your girlfriend arguing with you. Now, I've given you my order. Take it outside and argue and say whatever you want. All rise. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Teresa Nixon versus Dante Nixon. If you wanted the dog, you should have packed her stuff up and took it right along with you. Well, if I could, I would. Well, you should have. The dog's got a leash. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court... Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Teresa Nixon said that she tried to forgive Dante for cheating on her, but when it happened again while she was trying to get pregnant, she'd had enough. While I'm going getting poked and prodded and looked at by every Joe Blow and wannabe doctor in the world, he's out there dipping himself into somebody else. Because you wasn't Why, dipping with me. Why, before you were I, pregnant? Couldn't you have just left if you were no longer interested in her? It was cheaper to keep her. Teresa brought Dante to divorce court to fight for custody of the family dog, Sandy. If you wanted the dog, you should have packed her stuff up and took it right along with you. Well, if I could, I would. Well, you should have. The dog's got a leash. The judge decided that neither Teresa nor Dante deserved sole custody and ruled that the dog should stay with the couple's three-year-old twins. You're both 
I'm just being real selfish here. Mr. Nixon, you just want the dog because you want the dog. Mrs. Nixon, you want the dog because you want the dog. Teresa claims that Dante barely sees his children, and when she called him to split the dog's dental bill, he refused. She's like, thinks I'm doing it for all this stuff. Well, you know, it's so hard to get $1,000 for a dog. Okay, so basically, if somebody offers you a few hundred bucks, you're going to take it and whatever else they offer you. They'll have puppies. They can come and see me. I ain't going to abandon everybody. What sex life? Over. Yep. There's no more sex life. We're moving on.